Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, we're here with the offensive gameplay footage from the game um, against the 99 overall team um, with Mike Vick, uh, Ocho Cinco, Larry Fitzgerald, etc. Um, you see here on offense, we're going to come out in the jumbo formation. Uh, he's going to play a lot of cover three, which you're going to notice. Um, he likes cover three. We should have bombed him um, a couple times out of cover three, but I felt like uh, his team was so good against mine that um, it wouldn't have mattered as much. So we have the ball. Game is 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, we're waiting on him to pick the play. So I feel like I can run the ball against him because he's... Uh, He's playing a lot of spread defensive line in the beginning of the game. And that's what we're going to try and do is establish the run um, early in the game. You see here we're using the motion to hike him in the gap to get an extra blocker or make the cutback. Um, but you see we have a little less guys sending the nickel blitz. So that guy, one of them is going to come free off the edge um, just because uh, they have more guys to the left than I do blocking. If I were to keep the, the tight end on the left, uh, theoretically that should pick it up but you'll see later on in the game that it, it doesn't um, so the blocking in, in Madden 17 is, is really jacked up um, you'll see that um, here you know we, we're just continually to run the ball um, get down to second and five second and medium um, just trying to establish the run make him try and get greedy with his user now in this play what you're gonna see is the, that the right tackle should pick up the guy over him uh, but Reed comes all the way across his face to block him and he gets a a great block shed from uh, from him which forces me to uh, to cut it back inside and run right into the defender so I don't know why uh, the right tackle not just block him straight up because it's it's a halfback dive and it means block the person in front of you he wants to go for the sec to the second level for some reason um, and get cross faced but the tight end uh, block down to get cross faced and enforce a zero gain. That's that's like I said why the blocking assignments sometimes broken um, in Madden 17. It was great last year, really really good. I mean I could run the ball all day in Madden 17, but since they took away the double juke and then they've taken away uh, the blocking ability, really uh, it's it's really hard to uh, to run the ball. Um, you see we are able to get a couple yards. Brings up fourth down. We're gonna run. Um, this play here, we're going to try and either hit the corner or the drag or a quick pop pass to the seam. Um, but you see here, he, he plays a man with the seam, and we would have the tight end coming across on the corner, but we just see that he's in a flat zone to the left, a hard flat, um, and we're able to throw it before he gets to the, uh, the hard flat and get a first down. So we're going to come back uh, first and 10. We're going to try and establish the... Uh, the run again um, but you see he has you know the best players in the game um, so what's gonna happen is is his uh, his right safety is actually gonna shoot the gap I don't know if he was blitzing him or not uh, but he does shoot the gap pretty well um, he, I think he went to an all-out blitz play there uh, because otherwise they wouldn't play that yeah he went to edge sting so that's that's the reason um, that happens so it's kind of a tell when you start motioning the tight end over but um, you also can use the the option to motion him over and then use man to man on the back side. Since he was playing cover three uh, a bunch of the game, I didn't really use that because I didn't know if he was putting his uh, his curl flats into cloud flats because if they're in curl flats, the uh, it will not glitch the curl flat to play man to man. It's only cloud flats that work that way. You see here come out in the second quarter. Uh, we're going to run the mesh option. Um, we're just gonna uh, make it look like we're running. I was hoping he ran commit there, um, but see he doesn't. But what we do is we get um, we actually have the corner open because he actually plays a hard flat I think with 94, and we just dump it underneath. Comes up third and eight. Um, we're gonna go to the main play out of it, the PA waggle, um, and hopefully we're gonna try and hit the uh, the corner uh, down the sideline for a big play or even a touchdown um, so you see here he's actually gonna go to cover two invert uh, that's great because he plays hard flats and we're able to dot him over the top with the corner route for a touchdown 
So uh, we're going to go to the two-point conversion money play or short yardage money play, um, which is the mesh. And you know you what you do is you put the uh, outside receiver on a hot route. So he runs a slant, and then we motion the running back to occupy any type of zone or even a man. You see, if as long as he's not using it, we're going to be able to throw a quick dot to Clark. So we go up 8-0. Um, we're going to get the ball back after a turnover on fourth down. Come out in the PA waggle. Um, it's probably the best play out of this formation, that in the mesh. Um, and what we're going to try and do is actually hit Edelman on that Z spot post, but you see that whoever his safety is plays it. Um, what I think causes that is that my tight end that's running the streak is not fast enough. So I think I need to get a faster tight end so he can pull that safety uh, deep. Uh, I think that's the reason why he was able to play it. Plus, I mean, he's probably the best safety in the game. Um, probably 99 Brian Dawkins. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, that's number 21. Whoever 21 is, but anyway, really good player. Got to get a faster tight end to, to pull him deeper. So that's a, that's a tip that you might want to use yourself. Now here we're just flipping it because we want that corner to be ran to the wide side of the field. You see he's, see he's playing short, uh, hard flats. There again, Brian Dawkins breaks, uh, breaks on it because the tight end's not fast enough to pull him further back in that deep zone. So that's actually a note that I made because I've never seen that happen um, until now. Maybe it's because I'm playing a 99 overall player. Uh, maybe that's the reason. Not exactly sure, but you know I, that's what I'm actually going to do next time is get a... Uh, you get a faster tight end at that position. You see here, I was hoping he played a uh, hard flat like he did or even a cloud flat and were able to throw it over the top. So I was actually planning on that since he's been playing hard flats. My only concern when I do throw these type of passes is if, can they hold on the ball? Because you know in Madden 17, they cannot catch a cold. Um, so that's that's really tough to, fit, to you know, really just pray that they catch the ball. Uh, here you see we try and see if we can hit them with a quick uh, unbumble war out, but you see how that guy plays it. So we try to throw a high point pass to the back of the end zone. Can't catch it, but I don't mind that because, I mean, those really shouldn't be caught uh, unless you have, like, Randy Moss or something like that. Uh, so we're going to try and just uh, come out in the fullback inside, I believe, or the wide trail. Um, and we're just going to try and, you know, move the ball um, within the red zone, audible to the halfback wheel. And we actually finally get bailed out. Um, his guy doesn't animate for once, and we're able to get in front of him for a touchdown. Um, once again, you want to make sure you want to have a tall receiver there. I, I forget to sub out Julian Edelman sometimes because when you throw a high point pass, um, you want the guy to go up and get it. So you want someone big and tall at that position. But anyway, we go to the money play. Uh, I'm expecting him to actually use it this time um, because he's seen me run it last time. Um, but he stays in the middle of the field. And we're able to, um, to, you know, dot up Dallas Clark for uh, an easy two-point conversion play. Dallas Clark has 96-plus man, um, I mean, route running. So he's going to beat his man-to-man -man nine out of ten times, unless it's like Deion Sanders. Here, I'm just showing you this because uh, he actually catches the ball here and then runs straight out of bounds. So I get a free safety, um, and we get the ball back with 14 seconds left. Um, don't really do much with it. Six, uh, 14 seconds left can't really do too much so we just go into the second half and watch this first first drive had the drag open gets a block shed that's man 17 okay play the next player um, and then the next play for some reason I guess I hit X twice really fast I was trying to hike the ball and he throws it into the dirt I don't know why he did that I've never that's never happened so that's two bad plays so get down to third and ten we're screwed really um we're gonna try and hit the corner uh flat combo glitch where well, he plays outside cover so i try and throw a quick inside pass lead but he throws it outside nothing you can do about that um punt the ball he goes down you've seen it in the other video how he gets uh he gets bailed out on that drive but we get the ball back um just trying to chew clock you know we're up two possessions um just trying to get the game over with because last drive he got bailed out and you could kind of feel the momentum swinging of him getting bailed out um, and I just I don't like that you see there he just has the better players he has 99 Demarcus Ware uh, block shedding you're gonna see that he block sheds uh, three straight times I think uh, stop me all the way on fourth down I'm just trying to get it uh, 
get the game over with. I didn't want to go to a flat route because I knew he liked to play hard flats. Um, you see there, that's, that's three straight block sheds by Demarcus Ware. Um, it's just block sheds are the name of Madden 17, really, guys. You have to come to accept that and hope that you could at least just get an inch. But you see there, fourth down, can't get it. Um, thanks to the three block sheds in a row. Um, so we're going to go on defense and um, really get screwed again if you watch the other video. Um, so then we get the ball back with two minutes left. I know that he wants to run the DB fire too because that's what he was running last time. So, um, you know, we go to the halfback wheel, hit him across the middle. I'm just trying to pay attention to where his user's at. So we get down to the two-minute warning and we're going to come out in the wide trail and we're going to motion Clark over because I want to have a high-low read here because of his user. Um, and I'm guessing he expected something flooding right because he jumps to the right. And we since we flooded the left, we're able to complete that uh, for easy conversion. And now we're going to put Chew Clock on and just try and fullback inside him. Um, let him use his timeouts and then just try to uh, finish the game off with uh, with getting a first down. See there, what I think he was doing was probably bluff blitzing his safeties because that Brian Dawkins was playing the run really good. I think that's what he was doing. He kept bringing them down. But anyway, um, we try and run the power out, you know, block sheds. Actually, 71, if you notice, didn't even block there. Um, like I said, guys, name of the game in Madden 17. Madden 17 is a passing offense of game. But then with all the drops, it makes you want to run the ball, but you can't run the ball. But um, 39, I try and, you know, flood him to the left. Again, he takes the, uh, the underneath routes, and I just complete it over the top. Um, there, I was afraid he was actually going to drop the ball again. Um, you see he has one timeout. We have uh, three downs to kneel it, so we're just going to come out, uh, kneel the ball, and get the victory. So, I hope you all enjoy this video um, on the Flashpoint offense gameplay, uh, how to overcome. Even if you know EA starts bailing out uh, players with, with breaks, you can, you, know, you can still win. Uh, just stick with your scheme. Do what you uh, know best. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And be sure to check out Madden247.com. And if you'd like to support me directly, you can click on the link below and head on over to Patreon.com. Not only will you be supporting me, but you'll be getting the best content anywhere on uh, Madden17.